Collingwood player Jordan Degoe and another Australian man arrested in New York after nightclub incident Collingwood forward Jordan Degoe is being stood down indefinitely by his club after the 25-year-old was arrested and charged with assault offenses in New York on Saturday. Night New York City Police Department told the ABC that Degoe and 28-year-old Australian man Luke Dyson were charged with assault and forcible touching. It relates to an alleged incident that happened at the PhD rooftop lounge at the Dream Hotel in the Chelsea district in the early hours of Saturday morning, local time. Both Degoe and Mr. Dyson pleaded not guilty to the charges and were released late on Saturday night. They are due to appear before New York Country Criminal Court on December 8, two days after Collingwood's preseason training program is scheduled to begin. In this statement, a Collingwood spokesperson said the club would continue to pay Degoe under the terms of his contract until such time as an outcome to proceedings against him in the United States is reached or a more complete account of events is established. Degoe will not be permitted to train or play with Collingwood or make use of club resources, staff or facilities while legal proceedings continue. The club confirmed it had been in contact with Degoe and explained its decision. Meanwhile, the AFL said the league's integrity department would look into the matter once more information is obtained. New York City police said they responded to an emergency services call from a 35-year-old woman who claimed she was groped by two men on the dance floor. When the woman's 37-year-old male friend tried to intervene, he was punched, kicked and struck in the face with a glass bottle, police alleged. D. Goyant. Mr. Dyson were arrested at the scene and held in custody before being released with no bail posting requirements. Police said all parties involved in the incident were intoxicated and were not previously known to each other. The New York Police Department said the 37 year old man suffered pain and swelling to his lips and body, and the 35 year old woman was not injured but was described as distressed. Both refused medical attention. De Goey traveled to the U.S. to undergo training in California and was able to leave Australia due to a work sponsorship from an energy drink.